Welcome, friends. It is I, Heroes Lost Scarf, and it's time for the Shorts of My Beginner Guide to Neith. This goddess is the creator of everything in Egyptian lore. She is the mother of it all, and she don't show it at all. Girl's body be slamming. So, we're going to go over her abilities, her class, her roles, purchases you should consider, tips and combos, and of course, wrap it all up at the end there. We're talking about Neith, the beginner hunter. She is the beginner hunter in this game. She has good abilities to learn how to use, and it's good to know how to use your basic attacks with her because you can rock a lot of faces with this goddess. For advanced and expert players, of course, this is not for you. This is for the beginners. But if you see anything here you wish to see elaborated on, you should say so in the comments so that the beginners have more they can read. That way they just have more knowledge, which is good for everybody. And of course, you should share this guide with your buddies because this is Neith. This is the beginner god. If you want to know how to play hunters, Neith is where you start. So let's get going. Neith's abilities, and they can be a little complicated, so here we go. First up is her passive Broken Weave. When an enemy god dies, they leave a weave on the ground where they died for one minute. These weaves can be used for secondary abilities, which can make things a little complicated. First ability, Spirit Arrow. This is a piercing skill shot that deals damage and roots gods hit. If it hits a weave, it does AoE explosion damage and roots as well. I like to call them Weave Bombs. Second ability, Unravel. Ranged AoE that damages enemies and heals Neath. Also debuffs enemy attack speed, and hit weaves will give her extra healing. Third ability, Backflip. This is an escape that deals damage in front of her in a cone, and also slows enemies that get hit as she backflips out. This also leaves a weave on the ground, which you can use for your other abilities. And lastly is her ultimate, World Weaver. This is a charge shot that can go through walls and hit any gods as long as there's vision. Stuns the first god it hits, and damage dealt is based on charge up time. It can be blocked by other gods since it's a lock on attack. Class and Rolls. Neath is a Hunter. These gods are capable of strong casting abilities and basic attacks. Early game they're easily killed, late game they're capable of killing everything with basic attacks. Neath is a strong self-sufficient Hunter with the ability to heal with Unravel and get out of bad situations with Backflip. She can also put enemies in bad spots with her Spirit Arrow and Ultimate, or just finish people off that way. When it comes to Rolls, it's of course the ADC role for her. Teamed up with a support, she can hold lane very well and is fully capable of punishing enemy gods who don't pay attention to her weaves. When alone, she can hold a lane indefinitely with smart mana management and positioning. You'll spend the first half of the match farming in lane, but you're always a threat because your ultimate can be cast at any time to cause a lot of trouble through stun or damage. In team fights, you'll be killing gods with your basic attacks, holding them down with your weave roots, and slowing them down with your unravel or your backflip depending on what you're doing, which can cause a lot of trouble. Tips and combos. And the tips are these. Keep an eye on your weaves. They can turn the tide easily. If you keep an eye on where the weaves are and you hit them with a weave bomb, you can cause so much trouble. Especially if like two or three enemies in one spot. If you can kill an enemy and then shoot the weave bomb where they died, it causes a lot of mayhem. It can be amazing. Second tip has to do with spirit arrow. If you can hit an enemy guy with spirit arrow and a weave at the same time for the weave bomb, it does double damage and it is glorious. Third tip, Spirit Arrow goes through walls. So you can get someone through a wall, go around and then go kill them, or just hold them in place for a teammate, or just kill them because your arrow goes through walls. It's really nice that way. Another tip is, unravel before 1v1 fights, so you can slow your enemy down, so you can just fight them a little bit easier because they can't shoot you as fast as they could before. Next tip, backflip to set up dangerous weave attacks. If you know what you're doing, you can make a backflip, put a weave somewhere you like to have it, and you can shoot that spot to cause a lot of trouble for your enemy, or just use it for healing if you need to. And last tip, don't just use ultimate for low HP targets. You can also use it to set up priority targets for allies. This is talking about like solo or mid or maybe the jungler. You can use your ultimate to stun an enemy target and then your teammates just come together and just swallow them up. It's an amazing thing you can do. Now when it comes to combos, the combos are this. 3-1, 3-2, 3-1-2, 3-1 3-1 3-1 is a backflip to give you a weave for explosion damage. 3-2 is give you a backflip for the weave for healing. 3-1-2 is backflip to set up the explosion on enemy god. Then you hit them with the Unravel so you can slow them down on their attacks and you can beat them up with basic attacks. And you also get some healing out of that. And there's the last one with 4-1-2. This is a stun, then root, then slowing attacks from the enemy with your Unravel. Then you just shoot them to death. And of course to note, you can do basic attacks in between all these combos at any time. A lot of times just setting up or just causing trouble so that you can just hit with basics or just do the next move to cause more trouble then get the kill. That does sound a bit complicated, but you'll get it once you learn how to play Neath pretty well. You'll know when to basic and when to cast. Purchases for Neath. Now you want to get power, pen, lifesteal, attack speed, and crits for a deadly basic attacker situation, so you can just cause a lot of trouble for your enemy. Cooldowns are important to have, and they're useful to have in your build, 
But I'd say for beginners, maybe work on your basics first, and then once you're comfortable with her abilities, get cooldown so you can cast more often with her. She can be a very powerful caster, a very powerful basic attacker. At the end of the day, though, you're gonna get kills through basic attacks, so you want to put more focus on that. When it comes to relics, the common four relics are probably the best ones for her. Purification and Sanctuary for Defense, Pierce and Sprint to give her advantage and aggressive means to give the enemy some trouble. And it all depends on what you're fighting for which ones you're going to get. But it's never a bad idea to do one aggressive and one defensive relic, just decide which one you want to do first depending on what you're fighting. Usually you should err on defensive first though. In conclusion, Neath is one of the most beginner friendly gods in the game. She has a root, a stun, a heal, an attack speed debuff, an escape, you can't miss her ultimate, and she hits hard. She is a very beginner friendly god, and she is scary once you master the art of weaves, take advantage of what her abilities and weaves can do, and you will wipe out the enemy team over and over and over again. And it's also key for people who don't like to fight Neath to learn about Neath, because once you understand how her weaves work, you can have an easier time against her, because those weaves will cause you a lot of heartache if you do not pay attention to those things. As always, you should share these guides with your friends, that way they have more gods they understand so they can play them or know how to play against them by having just more knowledge. The more knowledge everyone has, the better they can play at the game, the better your teammates, the better your opponents, the better the game is in general, so that's just a good thing to do. So spread the guide around, it's helping everybody. Also sub me, I've made like 50 of these guides. You should sub me already. If you haven't subbed me, get to seven, because I'm going to make all the god guides, I'm going to make the role guides, and a lot more guides. So, do it. So there you go, that right there is the guide. Up next is going to be Nox. She's a bit of a harder god to play because you have to land your stuff and lead your shots very well, but she is a god worthwhile for beginners to learn because she is very fun to play. So that right there is the guide. I had fun making it, hope you have fun watching it and learning from it, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun, thanks for coming by, and see you next time.